they're off racing away for the group three albany stakes six furlongs for the two-year-old fillies and meditate is the first one to show in the journey lady bullet is also showing plenty of early speed abitha love is quite handy as well morge and miss mai tai behind those over on the far side with beautiful ashling more down the center showing plenty's beautiful eyes who's racing together with queen ollie and they've been tracked through by she's hot more towards the near side then beautiful eyes ladder some of the horse out in the center right towards the sand side is double o in black and white fully wet now making that run towards the middle of the track they make the way through halfway meditate lady bullet ibiza love the leading three from beautiful ashling ridden along his morge land of some is still prominent and then queen ollie kathy come home try to get involved in the blue and white colors as they race now down towards the final quarter mile it is meditate he's come through to lead lady bullet is battling away then ibiza love running on just in behind his ivory madonna then beautiful ashling and morge more near side coming into it late on his Queen Ollie, but Meditate goes home inside the final furlong. Queen Ollie pressing towards the near side. Morge is close up between them, and then Ivory Madonna is Meditate who's out in front, and Meditate will go on to win the Albany Stakes. Meditate the winner from Morge in second, then Ivory Madonna and Queen Ollie, followed close up by Sydney Arms Chelsea, then Lady Bullet and Alvinia. They're off for the Group 1 Commonwealth Cup. Six furlongs ahead of them. They came out to a, a pretty good line. Perfect power over towards the far side. Yellow Jacket just a little off the gallop at this stage. Among those showing early speed, Floaters down the centre with the black sleeves. Tiber Flow is just in behind the leaders. Flaming Ribbon, a dark blue jacket down the near side. The right-hand side, Giza Sub in the blue headgear over on the far side. Go Bears go in the violet silk, showing speed at the end of two furlongs. Giza Sub in the blue headgear gives the lead to Flaming Ribbon floaters down the center twilight jet and a white jacket on the left go bears go in the violet extreme left pink cap sacred bridge from wings of war being followed by miramar and perfect power in the yellow eras is towards the extreme left with a striped cap hala hala rathmani towards the rear down towards the extreme right el caballo is about two or three lengths off with the pink sleeves they're heading on down towards the last furlong and a half in the commonwealth cup and it's floaters the striped cap challenged by flaming rib in the dark blue perfect power and eras are towards the inside Calum Mosto bursting through in the purple and white twilight jet and Tiber Flow are in behind. Perfect power now beginning to close down on the far side, wearing them down into the shadows of the post. And perfect power, a perfect performance to win the Commonwealth Cup from Flaming Ribbon Floaters, Kada Mosto, Miramar, Eras, and Hala Hala Rathmani. And they're off for the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes. This handicap over a mile and a half as they race through the early stages just about in front and leading now by clear length is Longbourn. Longbourn now in front from Ajira in second then came Mashur and State of Bliss all close up behind with Stay Well and then Brilliant Light. Not too far behind those is Gold Maze and Mok to Saab and Mashur to the inside just fine is slightly worse than midfield. Cap Francais to the inside rail then Semhan further back in the white jacket the light blue cap. Contact is deeper from that runner then Chichester in the pink and black colours right towards the back of the field early on is is Kenzai Warrior together with Trawlerman. He's right out the back very early. Over on the far side then, they head towards the final mile, approaching Swinley Bottom, being led by Longbourn under Joey Sheridan. From Ajira, who's racing there in second, the first two then getting away by about two and a half lengths to State of Bliss, who's in third. Fourth then is Kelly Stino, getting that mention in the green and yellow of the cheap pieces, racing in the fourth place, just ahead of Mashur and Stay Well. Then Brilliant Light and Moctasab and Gold Maze and then Cap Francais as they approach the final six furlongs. And they feel pretty well stretched out, and it's Longbourn who's setting the gallop. Longbourn leading from Ajiro in second. State of Bliss in the pink in third. Kelly Stino is next in fourth. Mashur is behind those in the yellow and maroon silks. Behind Mashur is Stay Well from Brilliant Light. And then came Moctasad. Gold Maze trying to improve. Just Fine is still some way back through them along with Candleford. Trying to get moving then towards the outside is Semhan and Contact also trying now to get a little bit closer to the speed. Longbourn's going to lead them on the turn back towards home, approaching the final three furlongs it's Longbourn who will lead them in from a Giro in second and State of Bliss racing back in third then Kelly Stino and Stay Well in yellow and blue they head towards home with the nose banded Giro serves it up to Longbourn they're about three lengths on from Kelly Stino and Stay Well then State of Bliss trying to run up on the outside is Candleford and then came Gold Maze and Moctasab they're racing inside the final furlong and a half a Giro's got the lead but here comes Candleford down the outside with a strong late run Kelly Stino next 
just in third, then stay well and just fine. And behind that one, brilliant light, but it's Candleford who is storming home in the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes under Tom Marquand. This horse on his seasonal debut, he routes them. Candleford has won it, a Giro in second, contact in third, then brilliant light, Kelly Stino, Simhan, and behind that one, Sarumi, stay well and just fine. Well, they're off for the coronation stakes. They jump away from the old mile, start with Honey Girl among those dropped in in the early stages, rolling the dice and the cheek piece was away fairly well. Cache got a good break as well. Uh, so too Prosperous Voyage out wide, just taking a while to track over as they link up with the round course at the end of a furlong. And it's Cache and the light blue who leads to Spenderella with her hoop sleeves against the running rail and Prosperous Voyage tracking over to join them and racing handily. And that trio uh, just about spearhead the field, followed through by Discoveries with a white cap racing a close fourth. Uh, then the noseband in Mongostine against the running row, followed by Tenebrism, who races in midfield with Grand Dame and Sandrine. Rolling the dice in an orange jacket is next. Frankie at this stage is holding up in spiral red jacket with a blue cap. Uh, three quarters of the way back, Pizza Bianca in the orange and yellow is racing towards the rear with Honey Girl. They've already gone through halfway and they're heading towards home in the Coronation Stakes. And it's Cache who leads to Prosperous Void sitting at her quarters. Spenderella will turn on it in third. Discoveries fourth. A nosebound in Morgastine is next to Tenebrism in the maroon and blue. Sandrine in the nosebound wide off the turn in spiral. He's going to have to try and thread her way through from the rear. Frankie driving away. Red jacket, blue cap. Inside the two. Cache challenged now by Spenderella. The hoop sleeves. Here's Discoveries. And now in spiral finds daylight. She begins to run on very strongly down the centre onto the Tadori Drive. And in spiral has come sweeping through to snatch the lead deep inside the furlong redemption day for frankie in spiral powering clear in spiral inspired wins the coronation stakes and frankie salutes the crowd it's close for second between spenderella and discoveries with tenebrism right alongside cache and pizza bianca were next and they're off racing one mile in the Sandringham Stakes. This handicap for the Phillies over the straight mile. And well into stride over on the far side was Golden Spice. Uh, quite prominent as well as Morgan Ferry. Augmentarium's up there and racing more prominent down the centre now is Aunt Bethany. These are then followed by present moment in the red and white. More towards the stand side in the blue and white is Minwa. Minwa just about in front now from Aunt Bethany and with those is Golden Mayflower. Another one to show prominent Espresso and behind Espresso over on that far side group is King's Joy. They're then been followed through by Love Interest and Gate Crasher Girl racing in the midfield in Company with Tamarama, discretion covered up two thirds of the way back through the field. More towards the near side, right at the back is Zambak. Also, Lullaby with plenty more in front and behind. And Heredia is just about third from last at the moment. They continue up the home straight, then towards the final three furlongs. And just about with the lead is Golden Mayflower, but joined by Golden Spice. Right in behind is No Nay Nikki. Still going okay is Morgan Ferry, then Augmentarium, who's trying to work into contention as well as they race now down towards. The final furlong and a half, and it's wide open up right over on the far side. Fresh Hope is challenging over there. Still handy down the centre, Golden Mayflower, and bursting through is Cronell. Mashara's also getting there. Sagamia's coming up with a run over on the far side. Fresh Hope, near side Sagamia, together with Heredia, who's made rapid headway, and Heredia has now hit the front. Zambak's also running off for the back. Close up behind is Cronell, and then Sagamia. It's Heredia. She's going to remain unbeaten. Wins of Sandringham. Heredia, the winner from Zambak and Cronell. Then Sagamia, Mashara, and these are then followed by Fresh Hope. And behind Fresh Hope then came on the inside persist. Uh, they're off, uh, racing over a mile and a half uh, with Grand Alliance. A little slow in getting away, the Mauve Soaps, and drops in behind horses in the King Edward the Seventh Stakes. And it is changing of the guard, the maroon and blue silks for Ryan Moore, who is the first to show up, closely attended by the nose-banded Dark Moon Rising. Ottoman Fleet, the raw blue silks for Will Buick, takes up third position, racing just ahead of Lysander, the pearl blue with the darker cap, the high clear silks dropping into fourth. Savvy victory, red and yellow jacket, meanwhile disputing last place with Grand Alliance as they continue their progress down towards Swindley Bottom and head to the end of the uh, third furlong going along at around about 38 miles an hour at the moment, and it's changing of the guard dictating to Dark Moon Rising Ottoman Fleet in the slipstream of the leading pair as they begin to swing right-handed at the end of half a mile. 
Leading half of the field followed in fourth by Le Sander, who's racing wider, Savvy Victory. And Grand Alliance and Danny Tuddo move jacket continuing to look on at last of the half dozen. Climbing out of Swindley Bottom and heading towards the halfway point of the King Edward VII stakes and changing of the guard and Ryan Moore continue to lead their five rivals with Ottoman Fleet in the raw blue will be perhaps just shading second now. Right alongside, though, the nose banded Dark Moon Rising. In rear, Grand Alliance move jacket was briefly pushed along. Behind both Lysander, who's got the dark cap and Savvy Victory, who's in the red and yellow. They're about to begin the swing back towards home, though, heading to the final half mile. Changing of the guard with Moore just asking him for a little more in front, asking him to increase the tempo. Right at his quarters, Dark Moon Rising the nose band. Ottoman Fleet sits in behind, waiting for the gaps to appear as they begin the swing inside the final three furlongs and changing of the guard, trying to draw the finishing sting from his right here, pursued into the straight by Dark Moon Rising. Ottoman Fleet finds a bit of daylight, the raw blue. Down the outer, Grand Alliance away to the right, and next to him, Lysander is coming through, and then Savvy Victory running on down towards the last furlong and a half, still changing of the guard. Ottoman Fleet in the raw blue is giving chase. Grand Alliance down the middle, staying on with Lysander in a pale blue jacket inside the furlong. Grand Alliance right down the middle, bearing down on changing of the guard. These two dominate the finish, wide apart. Changing of the guard up the fence. Grand Alliance wandering off a true line. It's going to be very close, and they're very tough to line up. The pair inseparable as they hit the line in the King Edward VII stakes. And they're off, racing away. Corker was slow to go there from stall number 24 for this, the Palace of Holyrood House stakes over the five furlong journey. And handy early on is Peggy Sue together with Manakan and right up there as well is Rithin down the centre of the race course. Josie's Kid not far away along with Catch Cunningham. And there goes Bond Chairman prominent as well. Spring is Sprung is also in that leading wave with Latin Lover and Josie's Kid now just ridden in front here in company with Salatin now with that white cap, Latin lover, Spring is Sprung. Right over on the far side there, Sways with every chance. Spring is Sprung, Speggy Sue, and near side, Menakin coming there. Latin lover not too far behind him. Right over on the far side, Novello's trying to start a run as well. It's Peggy Sue towards the near side, racing together with Menakin. Catch Cunningham's running on just in behind in company with Bond Chairman. Peggy Sue's got the lead late. Latin lover looking to pounce along there with running behind Nymphadora. As they hit the line, it's Latin lover. Latin lover's won it, Nymphadora. Fedora, Peggy Sue, Bond Chairman, designer all close up then. We're just in behind Lil Guff.